Good morning, sunshine. Now we know Connecticut is full of historical landmarks, but some of them also include some spooky stories. And this morning we are at the Nathan Hill Homestead and I'm joined by Anne Marie Charlotte, the museum administrator here. We're going to learn a little bit more about what exactly goes on here. Apparently things go bump in the night. That is true. We have guests and staff always telling us uh, stories that we just can't explain or find any reason for. And those are the types of stories that you're gonna hear at Things That Go Bump in the Night. Okay, of course we can't wait to get to some of those stories, but first, let's just do uh, get a little background information on you know what you all offer here at this landmark. Uh, this is the home of the Connecticut State hero, Nathan Hale, whose famous last words were, I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. We have events throughout the entire season. We have the state's largest farmer's market every Sunday from June to October. We do a, a colonial summer camp. We do flag fields for heroes where people can purchase flags in honor of their veteran or active service member. Uh, there's always something going on here. We are owned by Connecticut Landmarks, which is the state of Connecticut's largest historic museum organization. And they own 11 houses across the state of Connecticut. Okay, awesome, awesome. Now, in the Nathan Hill Homestead, you know, a lot of the historical artifacts are here including this, which I overlooked earlier this morning. Take a look at this, guys. What do we have here, uh, Miss Anne Marie? We have an 18th century casket. This is a children's casket. Uh, we talk about 18th century burying practices during our program, Things That Go Bump in the Night. Uh, we have the wake of Billy Hale, who is Nathan's younger brother, who died of consumption just after the American Revolution. Which room are we inside of now, Avery? This room is called the Judgment Room. Uh, court cases actually would have been heard in this space, kind of like what we would consider small claims court today. Mm -hmm. um, so here in this room, uh, one of my favorite stories from here at the homestead, we had a guide who was giving a family a tour. It was a mother, a father, and a child who was around five or six and that child was doing everything five-year-olds do on a tour but should not. The child was climbing over things, climbing under things, and was running off into the other rooms. And the parents were not doing anything to stop it. Well, the little boy darted into this room. And within minutes, he was right back at his mom's side clinging to her. And she uh -oh. said, what is wrong? What is happening? And he said, there's a mean man in that room. And he shook his finger at me. Oh, no. So... The woman, the guide said, there's no one in that room. There's a painting. And he goes, I know the difference between a painting and a man. Well, now the child is being perfect on this tour. He is staying right beside his parents through the whole tour until they got to the room where this painting was hanging. And he took one look at that painting and he said, that's the man. That's the man who shook his finger at me. So this is Nathan Hale's brother, John. He is the brother who inherits the farm. And he is also the brother who raises his brother's kids when his brothers die of consumption after the revolution. So I guess Uncle John is still here uh, giving kids a warning how to behave. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's never shown up on any of my tours, but yeah. there have been a few that it might have been nice. Oh, I can't imagine what that kid was feeling like. <laughs> Listen, I'd be spooked if I saw a man too, or had my hair tugged, which we've also learned has happened right. here. Just uh, last week. Wow, wow. Okay, yeah, so as you can see, there's quite a few occurrences here that have happened at the Nathan Hale Homestead. We've got more stories for you, uh, some of the spookier ones happening up in the attic, right? Yes, that's true, okay. and we'll bring you up there. We're in the attic of the Nathan Hale Homestead, said to be where some of the most spookiest occurrences have happened here at this home. So just take a look around, guys. You can see... It's definitely giving spooky vibes. Doesn't it look like something that's been ripped out of a movie? Yeah. Well, we're going to check in with our friend Bridget. She's going to get us up to speed about what other folks say they've seen up here. So uh, let's go ahead and get started, Bridget. Now, what have people claimed to have seen? Well, our most common story uh, reported to us happens right at this window. We have a lot of people that walk around the property uh, late at night and in the early morning hours. Uh, and they report seeing a lantern or a candle sitting up here in this window. 
Uh, and then we have to come up and check to make sure there is nothing up here. And there never is anything uh, up here in this window uh, that could be causing that sort of light. Uh, we do keep a lantern up here during October, but the rest of the year, there's no explanation for it. Oh, I cannot imagine what that's like for them once you guys come up here and verify, like, hey, there isn't a lantern up here. Pretty spooky to me. All right, now, do you guys remember that popular sci-fi TV show, Ghost, Ghost Hunters? Well, uh, the crew from that show actually spent some time in here, so we're going to check in with our friend Anne-Marie one more time to give us some background about what they say they experienced here. Uh, they had all sorts of uh, shadow figures. They saw doors open and shut. Uh, they had uh, voices that were picked up. Uh, we had a, a different paranormal group come in, and they actually caught a voice up here in the attic that they thought was saying, hi, hi. Uh, so somebody's trying to reach out and talk to us. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't choose to stay here. I'll leave that to the pros. <laughs> now, you guys have been offering uh, tours to show or explain why things go bump in the night here at the Nathan Hale Homestead. Tell us a little bit about that. So in the month of October, we offer six nights where we take guests through the house all completely by candlelight, and we tell them all of the unexplained stories that we hear, have here at the homestead. Uh, they're the stories that guests have reported to us or uh, the guides who work here day in and day out have had happen to them. Uh, we always try to explain what happens, but if we can't explain it and we can't figure out why something has happened, those are the stories that you're going to hear on this tour. Ooh. All right. Now, if you love the spooky stuff, this is right up your alley, so make sure you guys come and see them.